The WT softball team made history today, winning their elimination game in dramatic fashion to advance to the NCAA Division II National Championship game. Pitcher Rita Hokianga showed the nation why she's the Lone Star Conference Pitcher of the Year, allowing only one walk and a couple of hits. Let's check out the highlights. Lady Bus taking on the number 15 Dixie State earlier today. Dixie, Dixie State were hot coming into this game, winning 28 of their last 29. Low scoring game, we go to the bottom of the fifth. Dixie State up 1 0. Bases loaded for Renee Irwin. She gets grazed by the pitch and sends a scorer home. Tie game now. Now, Keisha Dawkinson also gets a walk to give the Lady Buffs a 2 1 lead. This team is all time in walks in NCAA D2 history. To the top of the seventh with runners on first and second for the Red Storm. Watch this catch by Brittany Gale for out number two. That might be the most important play of the game. Hokianga walks the next batter, her only walk of the game. So with bases loaded on a 3-1 count, Dixie State hits one long, but Tyler Wilkinson is feeling it. She grabs it to end the game, and the Lady Buffs are headed to the championship game. Let's check out the final. Lady Buffs hold on to win 2-1. to one. They play tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. You can stream it live online. The link is on GoBuffsGo.com. Over to the Big 12 Baseball Tournament, TCU beat OSU for the championship. And a shout-out to Derek O'Dell, Canyon grad, who had an amazing play in that game. And the Am Amarillo Sox were in Sioux City tonight. Sox win 6-4, to and they play tomorrow night at 7 o'clock back at home. And in the MLB, the Rangers beat the Tigers 12-4 to earlier today. They hit the road again to take on the Minnesota Twins tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. And the Astros beat the Mariners today, splitting that series. They head to Kansas City to take on the Royals tomorrow night at 7-10. And if you thought you're having a busy Memorial Day weekend, try driving 1,100 miles in one day. That's exactly what Kurt, Kurt Busch had in mind today as he wants to become the second driver ever to complete both the Indy 500 and the Coca-Cola 600 the same day. Here's Kurt, Kurt Busch arriving at the Indy 500 in style. Everyone's pumped up that he's attempting the double, but let's get to the race. With 10 laps to go, Townsend Bell running fifth loses control. His car runs into a wall causing a lot of debris. The race would be red flagged in order to get the mess cleaned up. Fans appreciated that. And as the checkered flag is out, Castro Nevis tries to make a pass, but Ryan Hunter Ray takes the win at the Indy 500 today. The margin of victory, six one hundredths of a second. Unbelievable. The second closest finish in history. And of course, Bush finish, finished sixth and headed off to North Carolina to the Coca Cola 600. Unfortunately for Bush, a blown engine got in the way of finishing at Charlotte Motor Speedway. He completed about 907 miles today. Jimmy Johnson placed first at the Coca-Cola 600. And Tony Stewart remains the only driver to finish the double back in 2001. And if the WT softball game wasn't dramatic enough, over in Fort Worth at Colonial Day, Adam Scott and Jason Duffney went to sudden death thanks to Duffney's clutch putt on 18 to send him to 9 under. Now, Scott also had a clutch putt of his own in the playoff round. From 14 feet out, he sinks this, knowing that Duffney was just a few feet out. So on the next hole, Duffney leaves his approach shot a little too short. He would tap in for par, but not good news for him. Adam Scott was pretty close to the hole, so he, with a tournament in his hands, he puts in for birdie. Adam Scott becomes the only player to win all four PGA tournaments in Texas. And then we see here Ryan Palmer was also on the leaderboard today. He finished seven under for the tournament, so good job, Palmer. Over in OKC, the Spurs are looking to take a 3-0 lead over the Thunder, but Serge Ibaka is back in the lineup following a left calf sprain, and he's making his presence known. 30 seconds in the game, Westbrook finds him for two. And then we see this here again, Westbrook to Ibaka. Again, looks like the exact same play. And the Thunder say, why not? Ibaka feeling it. He puts it in again. So the crowd and Thunder bench pumped up, and they definitely missed him the last two games. But here's a scary moment in the first quarter. Derek Fisher needs to get looked at for a laceration on his head. Lots of blood coming out. So he would be removed from the game. And then late in the second, Durant for three. Count it. Let's take a look at the final. The Thunder take care of business at home, winning 106-97. Ibaka finished with 15 points and seven rebounds and four block shots. But the Spurs lead the series two games to one. They'll play again tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. So, lots of sports today, exciting oh, finishes, yeah. but none more important than the WT win today. That was a really good game. They, they did a really good job. So proud of them. They play 11 o'clock in the morning. Yes, and you can stream that game live online, gobuffsgo.com. They'll have the link. Perfect. We'll be watching and cheering you guys on.